Okay, so here they put fractions here to see if they could freak us out. So my rule of thumb is before you get you get totally uncalm and totally unconfident, totally not confident with these fractions, let's just distribute here and let's write two thirds times six over one C. And then this is 12 divided by 3. That's really just going to be 4C. You can multiply for 12 and divide it by 3. Or you could say take 3 into 6 twice and 2 times 2 is 4. Either way is okay with me. 2 thirds and 18 over 1. Well, 3 goes into 18, 6, and 2 times 6, that's going to be negative 12. Here I've got 3 fourths of 8 over 1. 4 goes into 8, 2, 2 times, two times 3, 6, plus 3 fourths times 32 over 1. Get in the habit of dividing first, because watch what happens. It makes the number smaller. 8 times 3, 24, equals negative 18. And now we can rock and roll. That's 10. 24 minus 12, that's 12. Let's subtract 12. 10C is negative 30, divide by 10, C is negative 3. Bingo! And there we go. So I've seen way too many students look at a fraction and decide, oh no, I can't do this. And you don't need your calculator either. It's just, here's what we want you to do. And say it out loud, divide first, multiply second. <clears throat> Anything in the bottom can divide with anything in the top. This 6 is in the top. This is 6 over 1. And all of these are easy, really, if you think about it. Now, if you multiply first, you get a big number. Multiplying makes numbers get bigger. Dividing makes them get smaller. You really do that in your head if you think about it. And there's that problem all the way. And we're good on it, and we'll be back.